Okay, I'm going to show you how to run simple effects in SPSS the proper way. We're going to use syntax. So we're going to run a two-way factorial ANOVA, general linear model univariate. Our DV is job satisfaction scores. IVA has three levels. IVB has two levels. We're just going to click the options. <laughs> so this is this is the first ANOVA. So there's your IVA, IVB splits, how many people in each group. There's your means and standard deviations. There's your Levine's test. You did not violate the assumption. Here is your main effect of IVA. Yes, there's a main effect of IVA. There is no main effect of IVB. You notice that? But there is an interaction. Okay, so now there's an interaction. Now you have to look at the simple effects. This is where it's going to get kind of weird. So hold on. We're going to go ahead and cut and paste this syntax code, and that's going to go ahead and, and split the files properly to get us this simple effect. So go. let me give me a second to put this together. All right, so now we have interaction. We're going to check for the simple effects using the syntax code that you just saw. You're going to go to Analyze. You're basically going to rerun the same model. Everything's preset, but now you're going to hit this paste. See that paste? You're going to change this line right here. Give me a second. I'm going to cut and paste it in there. Okay, we go here. And then we hit paste. All right, so what this code is saying is when you have the interaction, it's going to look at the, the three levels of A. That's what's going to be across. So you're going to have, you're going to have two, two simple effects. You're going to have B1, just the B1 data, against A1, A2, A3. So that's going to be a little ANOVA. Then you're going to have a separate B2 row. Again, that's going to check just the B2 scores at A1, A2, A3. So let's see what it looks like when we hit run. I always highlight this, click the little arrow, and here's the output for the repeated measures. And it's also going to do a automatic pairwise comparison test, like a Tukey test or a SEDAC test. But uh, let's take a look at this. You're going to get the same information right off the bat. Same, same. Between subjects, right, there is a main effect A no main effect B, there is an interaction with the, the two variables, which we already knew. But now here comes the magic. So here's the estimates across the A rows at B1 and B2. But here's our pairwise comparisons. Okay, It'll tell you if there's a significant difference at the B1 level only A2, A1, A2. There is one not at A1, A3. A2, A1 is backwards, but there is A2, A3, but only at the B level. B1 level at the B2 level, there's only between A1 and A3 and A3 and A2, so across both of those levels. But here's the simple effect for, oops, get in there. So here's just the B1 row. So it ran a new ANOVA just with the B1 data. There's your F score, there's your significance. So in other words, there was a significant difference somewhere between A1, A2, A3, but the um, the pairwise test kind of just told us that there was, and there was also one at the B2 level. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it around a little bit and show you how to run the special or the simple effects using the other variable. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the A1 levels across the B variable. So we're gonna go to analyze general linear model univariate. Everything's set up again. We're gonna do the paste. We're going to get the syntax code. Sometimes it doesn't pop up automatically. you got to go get it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut and paste this same code. Copy. I'm going to put it in this one, right? This is the one that's currently running. We're going to paste it. But now I'm going to change this IVA to IVB. Okay? So that's the trick to these. And we're going to highlight this and click the run button. Run, run, run. So now our output, everything the, up front is always going to be the same, right? you got the same number, the same means. Uh, the Levine's test is going to be the same. We get the same main effect, main effect interaction. But this time, it splits them up across. You're going to have three different ones. One for A1, A2, A3. So for A1, it's going to compare B1 to B2. A2, it's going to be B1, B2 versus B2, A3 is B1 versus B2. These are all simple effects. OK, 
Okay. So according to this, this is the pairwise comparison. That should agree with our little univariate test down here. These are little mini T tests, but they probably ran the ANOVA because that's how this thing works. So according to this, um, the simple effects of A at A1, which is B1 versus B2 at the A1 level, no significant difference. B1 versus B2 at the A2 level, no significant difference. But there is a significant difference between B1, B2, but only at the A3 level. So that's how you use syntax code to properly check the simple effects of a factorial ANOVA. I hope that helps. MGZ out.